Yad eight in there, my son in Ishland. This is Navajo Grandma. Today, uh, guess what we're going to be talking about? Finally, we got there. We're doing the uh, wool dyeing, and Grandma has this beautiful wool, uh, this picture, and it has all the different type of plants. And then there is a little beautiful uh, rug that was made out of all of these. In the video, you're going to see a picture of my most wonderful grandma. You saw a picture of my precious beloved Biji and my sketch of how she would dye her wool over the fire in a silver bathtub as she would use a wooden stick to stir with. My Biji's name is Mary Mitchell Nelson. She raised me, she taught me through her consistent, quiet, but powerful wisdom. My Biji was the heartbeat of our family. She possessed powerful self-taught abilities, including being a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a daughter, and a magnificent, uh, just a magnificent cook. She was, she knew midwifery, uh, she was a homeopathic doctor and a nurse. She was an equestrian, a sheep herder, a counselor, a psychologist, a plant biologist, an animal roper, a wheelwright. She was a teacher and a grain miller. She was a singer, a woodcutter. She was a medicine woman, community leader, and these are the few talents my Biji possessed. And I salute her dignity and love to watch and helped her shear sheep, rope the sheep, wash, skirt, clean, card, spin, dye, and weave the Chuda wool. It, in part, it was our entire livelihood. And this is what I have, Navajo grandma, dyeing wool, chudo sheep wool, and this is basically what I've done. And, uh, and I will show you the steps. Now, I did gather uh, the natural, uh, some of the natural plants, and I gathered the black-eyed Susie's, and that has a sage or a pale green uh, color. I gathered a juniper and it was kind of like a natural tan that you want. A Scottish broom with the pale yellow and then I got sage, uh, kind of like a yellow green but we'll find out. And then the walnut skins. So now you wonder what this is? That's a surprise. That's the next video. So you will enjoy that. Those of you who love to dye wool. Once you have the natural plant, the next step is you wash and you wash the spun wool in water with yucca or mild soap, which grandma has already done. And grandma uses the mild eco soap. It's a safe dish soap and it's a natural soap. And um, again, grandma has already done that. Wash the, the wool. Now the mordant, okay, the mordant wool, basically natural dyes will not adhere to natural fibers, fibers without the use of mordant or fixatant. Fixative without the mordant and the dye will soon wash out of the fade or wash out or fade away. And so uh, soaking the wool in water to which the mordant has been added will ensure your lovely natural dye fixes to what you are dying. And grandma's mordant, because I'm really worried about the alum that I might be allergic, I had some reactions. So I used instead a gallon of water, one tablespoon soda, and one tablespoon salt. And basically, uh, grandma would stir, dissolve, the, add the fire fiber, simmer for an hour, cool down, to continue um, mordant to adhere to the fiber. And um, 
you remember you only use stainless steel pots and you place the natural plant in the stainless steel pot cover with the with rain water or distilled water grandma used distilled water you simmer one hour or 30 minutes more for more color from the natural plant you cool you uh, set overnight which i did which i'm doing and the next day you heat reheat to simmer you strain out the plants and you place the wood in the dye water and again you simmer for 30 minutes so the next step i've used now i have a tablespoon here and i've already got a tablespoon i put it in these containers i have a tablespoon of baking soda on the left and a teaspoon a tablespoon of salt so that will go in here and we're going to pour some distilled water in here and i just now remember this is according to grandma okay i'm just using because of this small batch these are already washed we're going to dissolve that and then as soon as that's finished we are going to add our washed wool so we're going to place all of this in here and we're going to simmer this for an hour okay grandma's first dye will be the black eyed susie okay so now we are going to simmer look at that that's a juniper I put in the Scottish broom. Now, this is the Scottish broom that Grandma has. Can you see? It looks like a broom. This is the Navajo tea. We're going to push that down. Grandma's going to add some extra water. So now, Grandma has the Navajo tea boiling and the Scottish broom. Grandma put the sage in there. I'm going to start that in just a bit. And oh, it smells really strong. So Grandma's going to cover it with some water, and that will be ready to boil next. A lot of beautiful things. And then, guess what? We have a surprise right here. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. This is the Scottish broom. Okay? And this is the color. Now, it looks kind of yellow in the thing, but it's actually kind of a light brown, tannish looking thing. So this is the great reveal. This is the Scottish broom. We are going to reveal what the Scottish broom, I let it sit overnight, and let's see what color this yarn came out to be. Okay, look at that. So beautiful. So we're gonna put that here as a Scottish broom. Here's the Scottish brown. It has kind of a yellow hue. We have the Navajo tea, a lighter hue. This is uh, it's kind of funny. It's a lot. This is lighter kind of the same color. We have the juniper and Then and that's kind of a, a darker yellow Yeah, I don't even know my colors that well and then you have the walnut look how look at that It's dark brown. Now we haven't washed these out. Okay. We have the sage kind of a orangey color and then we have the black eyed the black eyed susie and usually they're green and that grandma put iron in there um, some rusted nails and it did give it a quite a greenish look so that's exciting all together here we are with all of six now i do have a surprise so this is the wool that we dyed the Chudo wool. I hope you're enjoying this. This is so exciting. Grandma has finished her 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 uh, dye project, and here is the walnut. Look at the beautiful walnut. We did the sage, kind of a yellow there. Uh, the juniper. Look at that. And the black-eyed Susie, that is a green. Grandma put rusted nails with that. Kind of uh, just beautiful. Then you have the Navajo tea, very light color. And the Scottish broom, look. And this is what Grandma wanted to show you uh, as the end product. Grandma wanted to show you some of the rugs. These are, this is an old rug. 
and again you can see the different colors look how beautiful and how these are old this is a very old rug and look at the natural colors that are that come from these look at this one i mean oh my gosh you could see how beautiful look at the colors they're vibrant and as you remember this is the blanket that grandma uses all the time and how the red colors uh there's a reason for that and all the different walnut uh the different types of plants that was used for this and some of these are gray natural gray but uh and then these as well so there's all kinds of ways that people have used the natural dyes and i wanted you to see that again so that you could actually see how beautiful the colors are and how they just the contrast is is just absolutely to die for so grandma is very proud of being able to show you this the natural dyes and i want to say hagone i i hope each of you have enjoyed this thank you i hear